<laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, you guys will be seeing the best glitches. You guys have to do this right now because the season two reloaded update is going to be tomorrow. So half of this stuff will be patched. And also, I'm going to be showing you guys a insane new glitch where you guys can get 250k XP per game and up to 1 million per hour. Now drop a like, let's get 400 likes on this video if you guys are hyped for the new video slash glitches for Season 3 Reloaded, which is gonna be tomorrow. Now enter the Orion Camo or the Nuke Skin giveaway to enter, just drop us up with post notifications and drop a comment down below. The last two winners were in my last video. If you guys need help with their guys' camos like Polyatomic, Orion, all the Mastery Camos, or even the Nuke Skin, then make sure you guys go check out Mitch. So if you guys need help with those things, then you guys should get help from there. I also do my giveaways through them, so the links will uh, be down below if you guys want to check that out. Now like it says in the title, you guys have to do these as soon as possible because a lot of them will be patched tomorrow. And also, this is like an update video, but I'm gonna be showing you guys a insane new glitch. So here's the timestamps. So for this insane XP glitch, all you guys have to do is land near a low-key ammo crate box. And if you guys didn't know, you guys have to do this on Plunder. and Plunder, the ammo crates don't have a reset time. So make sure in your guys' classes, you guys have Thermites and Stims. All you have to do is throw the Thermite uh, on the box if you guys want, like you guys see us do, or on the ground. And then walk into it, walk out, and then Stim. And then just keep doing that over and over again. And each time, you guys will get 500 XP. With a double XP token, that's going to be 1,000 XP. And you guys saw before the timestamps how much XP that we got in one single game. You guys can get 1 million XP per hour doing this and up to 300k XP per game of Plunder. So do this in Plunder. In Plunder, the ammo crates do not have a reset timer thing. So you guys can keep refilling as you guys can see. Throw the Thermite, walk out, stim, and then uh, just refill your guys' all your guys' ammo for your stims and your Thermites. And just keep doing that over and over again. This is the new insane glitch uh, for XP right now to fully max out and get full prestige. in the secondary slot and as you guys can see you guys cannot put the uh, impact uh, point barrel and also the akimbo on at the same time so that's what's going to be glitching out so all you guys want to do is go over to your rear grip and put on this attachment right here and then uh, save it as a custom mod name it whatever and after you guys do that you guys want to go back into that and then equip the akimbo for some reason it does get equipped it doesn't show it says 2 out of 5 and then save that as a custom mod again now you guys want to go over to the barrel and equip the impact barrel and and then press equip now head over to the rear grip and then just delete that fully you guys can see it says two out of five for the attachments only one is equipped and then save it as a custom mod and now when you guys go to the firing range it's going to be glitched out like this if uh, you guys are here then you guys are on the right track so all you guys have to do is put any attachment on this x13 this glitched one so for example we're gonna put on a muzzle a optic uh I think a couple of other things and then those attachments will carry over to the first gun so those attachments will carry over to the first gun for example we have polyatomic so the polyatomic on those attachments for the uh the optic uh the muzzle and also the under barrel will carry over to the first gun so pretty much the uh, camels will merge so in the primary slot have a gun for example we're gonna have a orion gun i think it's the orion fss uh, so we're gonna equip that and then in the secondary we have the glitched x13 so everyone has to have that and then put the camel that you guys want to merge onto the primary gun just make sure you guys don't have the same attachments equipped from that pistol onto you guys' primary gun. We're gonna delete that and as you guys can see for the primary gun, we're gonna be merging the Orion and also the Polyatomic from the uh, X13. So pretty much the merge will be Orion and Polyatomic. You guys can do this with any camo that you guys have unlocked or if you guys have a glitched blueprint with Orion, Polyatomic or any camo, you guys can also do it with that. As you guys can see, our camos are merged in game. So this works only in third person mosh pit. If you guys are playing first person, you guys won't be able to see it but as you guys can see other players will be able to see it either in multiplayer or even in warzone which is mostly what people are looking for you guys want other people to see it and they're gonna be tripping out think you guys have some sort of uh, mod on or like a uh, a tool on and this is absolutely insane and it's so easy to do
Controller 1, that's the account that has a skin that you guys want to dupe over to the other account. Controller 2 is going to be the account that doesn't have the skin. So on Controller 1, the first account that has the skin, you guys want to go over to DMZ, go over to Active Duty. In the second slot, put any operator that isn't the operator uh, that has the skin you guys want to dupe over. With Controller 2, which is the account that doesn't have the skin, you guys want to go and do the same thing. Uh, head over to the Active Duty, but put the operator in the first first operator slot and make sure you guys don't put the operator that you guys want the skin from that's one of the most important things you guys have to make sure you guys don't put any of the operator that you want the skin from in both accounts prior to doing and starting the glitch after that, restart your game fully, and when you guys get to uh, this, this screen right here, okay. you guys want to press the half X with the thing. second account. Uh, when you guys do a man, it does glitch. Now we're gonna so connect so fix that account red dot on Z, and we're just gonna glitch that out. So on you guys can hold at the top. Sorry, you guys can control with this time or A on both controllers. Just a bunch of logs with this. We luckily got it the first time. Some cool content you guys want to try. Now with controller two, head over to the way duty and how to make your guys operator. When you get to this screen with the first controller, press X and last the second slot. You guys can make your own stuff with this operator slash glitch that you guys want guns. and we're gonna be doing the rose skin so we're gonna select that Now equip it with the first controller and now with uh, this screen right here with your second controller equip that skin that you just equipped with the first controller. Now you guys can back out and you guys can see that skin is in our DMZ uh, loading screen as well as the Warzone one when uh, from this screen right here just disconnect the controller and now you guys can go over to Warzone right here and you guys will see that's here as well. And just make sure you guys do uh, the navigation through the top screen. So if you guys do it from the bottom right here where I'm showing right now and I go into DMZ from here, the skin will disappear. So you guys have to do it from the top. So at the very top where it says DMZ, Warzone quads and stuff like that, you guys have to select it from there. If you guys select it from the bottom like we just did, the skin will disappear. Only the operator will stick. So once you guys uh, start up a game, you guys need to land near a UAV tower. From there, just get a weapon that you guys need XP on or you guys can buy it from the buy station or wait for the loadout. Once you guys have that weapon, you guys want to go over to the UAV tower and make sure you guys have at least $2,000. Now from here, you guys want to activate the UAV tower and while activating it, just uh, pull up your backpack and drop the cash. And you guys think we'll end uh, near the end zone. And also, like I said before, you guys do need 2,000 cash and I do recommend getting a good loadout. It's not uh, needed, sorry, but I do recommend. It. Now after that you guys want to land near a UAV tower that's like in the middle and just stay there the entire time and just keep activating that UAV. Do this in solos if you guys want to do it for the nuke skin because it's easier. You guys will only play against solo players and then uh, the UAV will just go off and you guys can always see players around you. So I really really recommend doing this if you guys want to get those wins really fast to get the uh, contract for the nuke skin. Now, we all know this doesn't fully 100% guarantee that win, but it does boost your chances up from like a 5% all the way up to like 60% because you guys will know where those uh, players are always at, especially if they're around you. All you guys want to do, we're going to be doing this in co-op. So go over to co-op. Uh, you guys can do this with a friend. So drop a comment down below to find someone or go join the Discord down below. It's going to be linked down below to find people. That other player just uh, needs to start the mission with you and then they can leave right away. You guys can also do this uh, randomly with random people until they leave. So you guys just can stand still. Uh, make them rage quit so once you guys get into co-op make sure you guys have the uh, guns in a loadout so if you guys didn't know you guys can now have loadouts as you guys will see before you guys can only use a few select guns in the mission but now you guys can use any so put the gun that you want the levels on now all you have to do is start it up and also you guys will need the recon at tier 3 so you guys will, will have the sentry gun Start up the denied area co-op mission and from there you guys want to make your way over to the uh, loadout drop which you guys will see in the footage shortly. We're just going to put our sentry guns uh, down and you guys can just quickly run to it, grab the uh, guns that you want the levels on. So from there after you guys got your weapons, you guys want to down yourself, both players have to do this or if the other player leaves you guys can uh, just down yourself and then restart the mission. If you guys do this long enough, you guys can get 200k XP plus in one single game. Once you guys restart the mission, you guys want to run exactly down where we do, follow the same exact path. And 
And when you guys get to that little thing, as you guys will see, you guys want to pull out the sentry gun and place the sentry gun exactly where we do. Now from there, uh, what a good thing to do is if you guys are doing this with two people, one player just gathers around all the bots in that little area and then brings them to the sentry. But if you guys are doing this solo, that's completely fine. You guys do not have to do that. You guys just uh, put the sentry gun down and then make your way over behind the wall and just stay there. Just make sure that the other gunner doesn't take you guys down. That's why we're staying behind the wall. And now just let your sentry gun get all the kills that you guys want the XP for on your guys' weapon while that weapon is in your guys' hands while that sentry gun is getting those kills. So the sentry gun does get way more XP per kill. It gets about uh, 110 to 160 XP per kill depending on the multi-kill. And with double XP, of course, that's just multiplied by two. You guys can do the math. Apparently, Hacker Elite was telling me if you guys have two low-level guns, so guns that need leveling up in the primary slot and the secondary, if you guys keep switching in between them while the sentry gun does get those kills you guys will get partial xp for that secondary weapon as well i'm not too sure if that is true or not you guys will see that in the footage that we do level up both guns in this run right here so it might be let me know down below so that's also the glitching part of this video if you're gonna do it solo, I recommend running decoy grenades. So put the sentry gun down and then throw your decoys right in front of the sentry gun. And now that sentry gun will go to work. All the bots will come to that decoy. With the keyboard, these are the uh, button shortcuts that you guys uh, need to use. So they're going to be on the screen right now as you guys can see. And you guys will also be using the arrow buttons on the keyboard. The arrow buttons are only needed if we have to go up and down as you guys will see in the footage. So as you guys can see, we do not have Polyatomic or Orion on this weapon. And we're going to do uh, Poly first and then Orion. So back up to this screen and now pull up the screen where it uh, gives you the option to save it as a custom mod by pressing L2 with the controller. Now with the right analog stick, move it to the top. Now press the PSN home button on your controller and then press it again and now use the corresponding key button to back out. So in this instant, the first step, we would have to press the backspace button so to back out to the screen and you guys want to do that for every single step as you guys can see. So press the PSN button and now press the PSN button again and now we got to switch it. So we're going to be going to a weapon that has the camo that you want to transfer over. So you will be using in this instant a Q or the left arrow button or right arrow button uh, in any instant to get to the other weapon and you guys gotta keep doing that over and over again so press the uh, PSN home button and then press it again and right when you guys press it press the key button corresponding to the step to get to the gun that has the camo you guys want to transfer over for example, right here, I would press the PSN home button, press it again, and right after I press it, I would press the space button because it corresponds to X to get to the camo screen. From this screen, save the uh, weapon already as a custom mod. Now go over to the camo that you guys want and select it. Uh, that camo has to be on the other weapon, so pretty much you guys will transfer over camos. Now back out, now update your uh, custom mod, save it as a custom mod so you guys never lose it, and it's always in your guys' armory. Now you guys will see that it's there, it's there to use, and you guys will also see right here, it shows that I don't have the camo, but it is selected. Put the gun you want to do the glitch on in any slot, uh, put that on and then after that all you have to do is select a barrel and then save it as a custom mod. Once you guys save it as a custom mod, you guys want to delete that and then save it again. Just update that same custom mod with the same name. So do that, update it. And now after that, add another barrel, like a different one, and then save it as a custom mod again. Same name, just update it. And now it will say two out of five attachments, as you guys can see. And now half the gun is just missing. You guys can also do this with the optics for the snipers. You guys can do this with stock for a lot of the other guns. And it also works on a bunch of other attachment slots as well. So you guys can can uh, mess around with this do your own thing and make your own custom blueprints with this now with controller one sign into the dummy account and come to this screen right here with controller two log into the account that has the stuff that you guys want to dupe over after that just press x to uh, log in the second account into modern warfare 
Now press on Modern Warfare with the first controller that's on the dummy account. Go over to uh, Weapons with the second controller. The account that has the stuff you want to dupe over. Go over to Weapons and then in any class law, select the blueprint, the paid variant in any class. It doesn't matter. Uh, right now we're going to be doing it on the M13. From here, all you have to do is press L2 to bring up the screen to save it as a custom mod. With the right analog stick, just move that uh, pop-up to the left, uh, like you guys see on the screen. Now you guys want to connect your keyboard into your guys' console. Once you guys do that, uh, pretty much just put that keyboard and log it into the account, the dummy account, so the first controller, log it into that account. Now with your keyboard, press the F1 button, head over to a store by using the right arrows with the keyboard and then select that. When you're on this screen, press the escape button and now head down to where it says ground war with the keyboard and select that. When it says disconnect the second controller with your keyboard, press yes. On this screen, press the escape button on your keyboard and go down and head over to Invasion, which is the second one. Now you guys want to enter that. Now you want to log out of the second controller. So for us, uh, press the PSN button on the second controller, head down and then log out of that. Now with the second controller, press the home button and now log into the account that doesn't have anything. So the account you're going to be duping over to. Now with that second controller, you guys can rename it, uh, anything at all, we're just going to rename it glitch and then save it as a custom mod. And now you guys are done with the glitch. You guys will know if you guys did it right. All you have to do is restart the game and then log in with the other account. So the account that doesn't have anything, log in and then check. We're going to do that right now. Now we're gonna go over to our weapons, into a class, select any class, and now uh, we did the M13, so we're gonna head over to the M13, and now you guys can see that variant is saved as glitch. There you guys go, you guys are completely done with the glitch. And now uh, most of these will be patched for season three reloaded update, so which is gonna be tomorrow, so May 10th. Uh, a lot of you guys might be watching this after, but if you guys aren't, uh, check them out, uh, do these as soon as possible. Some of these might still work after patch, and that's why it says in the title what it says. So if you guys want, do this for fun, but you guys should do it as soon as possible if you guys just want to have fun because this will be getting patched with the update tomorrow. Now drop a like, let's try to get 400 likes on this video if you guys are hyped for the new videos with the update coming tomorrow. And also drop us up with post notifications. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and that would help out a ton. Share this video with all your friends and family and uh, join the Discord. The links are going to be down below and also follow Follow me on IG and Twitter. Once again, all those links will be down below. This has been your boy Bubs, and I'm out. Peace. Going, but I know I can't keep flowing. Cause the Lord he gave me words. The paper I can earn. Roll it up and watch it burn. I said, somebody call 911. What's the matter? There's no laughter from my son. I feel dumb. He's so numb. He's home alone.